because I think like the nurses were really focused on like the machines rather than me, you know? Right. So everything that you're describing that you're saying that you want mm -hmm. is what midwifery care can offer. Right. Okay. The way that I explain the way that I approach care to patients is that I'm going to explain the risks and the benefits of everything that we may consider. Mm -hmm. And it's risk, benefits, alternatives, including doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, because sometimes wa watchful waiting is is as appropriate, if not more I like appropriate. That, though, because I feel like a lot of people really try to rush, <laughs> and I don't want to feel rushed if the when watchful you, waiting is uh, available. Watchful waiting is appropriate most of the time. Okay. Hi. Well, let's welcome hey. you. Hey. I'm Hillary. Sorry. Hey, I'm like, Hillary. I'm Cassandra. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Well, Thank welcome. You. Thanks. I appreciate I'm that. I'm so glad like, people came. Yeah. Well, I just, I literally just walked to you. It was a little overwhelming um, at the thought of being the first midwife to be credentialed at Rex Hospital. I've had people say, but you're on call all the time. I'm like, yep, I am. Yes, absolutely. And I'm okay with that. And now that we know that other, you know, a lot of the other details have been worked out in the background. Um, and so more midwives are coming. Yay. Okay. And so we approach everything from a point of wellness. Mm -hmm. Okay. And prevention. Mm -hmm. Okay. We approach everything like preventing the complications as opposed to reacting to them. For example, like part of the midwifery training that we talk about the, the we talk about the four P's. Physicians are trained with the three P's. Power, passage, and passenger. Power is like the contractions, passage is the woman's pelvis, passenger is the baby. Okay. In midwifery we add the psyche. We really delve into the emotional component and the fear. Okay. It's been well studied, it's been well researched. We know that fear and anxiety and stress increases pain and discomfort increases cortisol levels, stress levels, and it puts your body in a fight or flight response. Do you think you're gonna labor well if you're in a fight or flight response because you're scared out of your mind? Because everybody looks at you like you're broken as soon as you get here. <laughs> you know, I, I used to joke when I worked at Duke, I'm like, it's a baby, not a bomb. Calm down, <laughs> calm down. You know, hey, yeah, yeah. don't yell at the pregnant person. <laughs> Hands off, just, it's okay. I think we calculated it yesterday, but 24 births and haven't needed a C-section or uh, an instrumented assisted delivery at this time. Now, I know that that's coming. I'm not naive. Uh, but I want women to have safe vaginal deliveries without unnecessary interventions that don't do anything for them other than potentially cause problems. Because we know, and the research abounds, that says the more interventions, the more problems we cause. Those that are maybe not fans of midwifery, have concerns about midwifery. I oftentimes hear them saying their personal opinions. And I just, I don't understand it. I do not understand. If you say you care about women, and you say you want the best for them, why, why are we still having the debate? When the data has been clear, I'm not interested in opinions. I'm interested in what the data says. And the data says that educated, certified nurse midwives are safe and that we provide really good care and we do. Okay. But do you guys want to get something to eat? Do you guys want to get, get something to eat? Yeah. That's why we're here. Absolutely. <laughs> let's eat, girl. Let's, let's get a little something to eat. Is, is there any, any other questions that you have? I didn't bring my pregnancy journal with me, so... That's okay. That's okay. Well, I was just like, ah, oh, hop in the car, good. That's okay. That's great, but That's thank okay. you so much. No problem. No problem. I have a question. Yes. Sorry. Yes. I know that this job was meant for a purpose even bigger than just bringing midwifery to Rex Hospital. It's more than that.